JD here, and as you can see, we are back on F122 as always, and in today's video, we return with some league racing action, this time for BRS round 15 at Spain, Catalonia. And coming to this race, you can see the championship standings up on the screen here. FRA Elite's Octus Lawrence isn't actually racing. Um, as you can see here, someone just crashed in qualifying, so we had to go around it. But yeah, he's not actually racing, so there's still an opportunity to maybe even get back in this championship. But I do think he's probably trying to make it maybe a bit more entertaining <laughs> going to the last round because I think he's almost won every race he has done apart from the bad on last one or at yeah, back end as well but coming into this without starting off on a negative note you've probably watched my last video or if you haven't so much haven't been feeling bad. particularly motivated with this game recently and you know, I know I said I didn't really want to be spending that much more time in this game but I want to finish off this league racing season because there's only three races, including this one. And you now, a P2 in the championship, still an opportunity to maybe even win the championship with Elite's absence today. And I just felt I really kind of owed it to Elite to finish off the season. And then after this, we'll probably be looking to try and enjoy the game much more with open lobbies, doing some other things. And you can already see some other videos I've done recently been spending some time on some other games as well because I do think it's important to disconnect from things from time to time because no matter how good you are at something even if you're winning every race it can sometimes become a bit of a repetitive and draining experience and coming into this race quite similar to Suzuka didn't really put that much effort into the practice itself. Spain has traditionally been quite a good track for me but I was really struggling in terms of getting up to pace here and I was quite surprised I qualified what I did because I felt like there was a lot of time on the table oh, and coming across terrible. the line here not very happy with the lap. Oh my god that was absolutely shocking and yeah you can hear me say that wasn't the best of laps and were seven tenths away from pole which I think it's probably the biggest gap that I've been away from pole this season, which kind of says it all. But we still somehow start in P6, which is within the realms of actually being able to do something in this race. So always being a bit more optimistic for the race itself, always feel a bit stronger in the race conditions. Was running quite a high level of downforce, which should be good for the tyre wear, because tyre wear is a fairly big issue around this circuit so we're starting in p6 as we have four lights five lights here and as they go up now we get a pretty poor start and you're about to hear we're getting wheel spin in fourth gear which i've said it many many times without sounding like a broken record i've personally really really struggled with the traction on this game especially since that 1.06 patch i just i don't know what it is but there are games that suit people more and I think at the moment this game it just doesn't suit me that well at all and especially from coming from iRacing which I've been doing quite a lot this past week where you can be quite aggressive on the traction in many of the cars there on this game you have to be so careful it's like you're driving on ice at times and it's just something that I need to get used to a lot more and just find a lot more consistency with because I think that is probably my biggest Achilles heel on this game is just being able to feel confident on the traction and you can see that go through course such as this being very very delayed on the power just very cautious in terms of actually getting up to that 100% I never felt fully confident that I could get straight on the power so throughout this whole race uh, particularly at the beginning here we were struggling with that but as the race goes on we did start to drive better and better but currently sitting in p7 behind my teammate and that was the story until lap eight so still sitting in p7 
It's really hard to make progress around this track because the hard and medium, there isn't really much difference in terms of pace. It's really just the durability of the tie itself. Because you can see Jitto DB hasn't really been able to attack me or anything at all. I've been able to stay ahead of him on the hards and with the kind of a DRS train, it's really hard to overtake. But as you can see here, looks like the virtual safety car has been deployed because someone has crashed in the middle sector. The leaders have gone round the last corner. So they haven't decided to box because our meters. And now it turns to the full safety car. So I thought, you know what? Let's just take this gamble. We have absolutely nothing to lose here. And I wasn't doing this to try and go towards the end of the race. I just thought I have two fresh sets of mediums because now with the tire configuration, you get that option. But unfortunately, we have hit the wrong button in terms of going to the pits. And again, I think that's the case of just not doing any practice. I didn't do any of the race in terms of the practice. I didn't practice a pit stop. And I've been playing so many other games recently. I just, my mind kind of went blank then. And yeah, we just pressed the wrong button completely, which has cost me a position to Jiso DB. But we've already made a pit stop. And the guy ahead of me is the net leader of the people who have made the stop so far and we've actually put ourselves in a really good position because we're only in p11 the leaders are right here and we should be the fastest car on track right about now and with the high downforce that i was running that should really help on the tire wear quite a bit but you will see as i'm behind jitto db there isn't so much of a pace difference between these tyres, you can see we're already on 9% after spending a couple of laps behind the safety car. There isn't really so much of a difference in the pace, it's just the durability. So he's definitely sitting in the pound seat right now. And no, if the others pit for mediums in the next few laps, we could then maybe pit at the end and then maybe even go for softs at the end of the race and be so much faster than everyone else. because. Even the hard tie to the end is going to be quite worn by the end of this race. You can see already another 2% on this lap. So I wasn't feeling particularly confident that we could get to the end of this race. And you can already see we're not exactly hustling the Alpha Tori bar in front of us. You can see a little bit of a twitch of the steering wheel. So just still not quite confident on the traction at this stage of the race. Going through this last sector, this is definitely where I was at my strongest with the higher downforce. But you'll be able to see in a straight line, even with the slipstream, we're not really making any inroads. But as we skip on to the next lap, see getting a little bit closer to the Alpha Tori up ahead of me. Because I knew that I'd probably have to get past him if I want to try and maximise my strategy. Because I wanted to be as close as I could to the leaders by the time they pitted. Because people in the lead, such as Skitson and McLaren, he's going to go on the mediums. So then he'll probably get a little bit of an undercut of me. But then we might plan to box towards the end of the race. So I really wanted to try and dispatch this Alpha Tori as quick as I could. He's not that close to the car up ahead. And we're using all of our ERS. And you're about to see his red light starts to flash. So he's using all of his battery. And then going to this turn one. Wherever he breaks, we break that fraction later. And now we've made our way up into P10. Currently, the net leader in terms of pit stops right now. So we just got to try and get up to the cars ahead as much and as quick as we possibly can. Currently, the fastest car on track at this moment in time. You can see these guys are starting to struggle a little bit on their tyres here. You can see how much faster we are with these medium tyres at this stage of the race and going through this last sector with all that downforce we have we could pretty much choose any line we want as someone has decided to go into the pits Andre makes a little bit of a set goes completely off the track now we're up into P8 into this race with the DRS as well he's now out of the race and what has that done? that has brought out the full safety car which is kind of good and bad it now gives me the lead of this race but has enabled the guys ahead of me to be pitting for those mediums and they're not going to be too far uh, behind me now 
as well because I was planning to pit again maybe towards that lap 25 or something for a set of softs towards the end of this race because I wasn't confident we could make it but this has kind of helped me extend the life of these tyres because we aren't going at full speed but the problem is pretty much a lot of the drivers have pitted as well so the leader Skitzer hasn't actually lost that many positions I think he's come out in no, P7 or P6, P7. So he's not that far behind. He's and he has about right eight lap fresh tyres and me, which are going to be comfortably going towards the end of this race. So I've got to try and maximise this right now where I'm in the lead of the race. So I've got some guys behind me and we just got to hope that the people on the new mediums don't go through this traffic quickly. So all of a sudden... We've actually put ourselves in a pretty good position um, in this race. And the only thing that there is now is that I have to pretty much go to the end of this race if I want to try and win it or get on the podium because I won't be able to make up a, a pit stop on the guys. By the way, because they've just effectively just now had a free pit stop. So preparing to get going again, trying to get a good exit coming off this last corner. PSR Savvy, you can see we've absolutely dropped Jitto DV in P3, who's on the harder tyre, so he'll definitely be able to make it to, to the end. We were quite slow in the straight line because we were running quite a bit of the downforce, but that is going to be helping me with the tyre wear. So right now, it's about just trying to extend that gap to the drivers who had pitted from the lead, such as Skitzer and the other McLaren and keeping ahead of guys such as PSR Sav here because I think Skitzer is still in that sick place you can see he's at that back of that train coming down the straight and there is only about 12 laps of this race here to go so I'm just pushing absolutely with everything at this stage of the race you can see now up into P3 so 3.1 seconds behind but he does have about eight lap fresher tires than me and DRS has now been enabled this McLaren behind me was very, very fast in the straight line, but I knew if I could just hold him off, the longer I could hold him off, the worse his tyres would be getting. And at this stage of the race, we were driving really well. And you can see that gap to Skitzer in P5 isn't really coming down that quickly at all. So our pace is really good, being ultra consistent, actually setting a personal best lap of a 20.1 at this stage of the race, using all of the ERS here. But try not to go defensive, so just try to lose as little time as possible. Because I knew if this guy overtook me, then I'd probably be going a bit slower. And then once his tyres go off, yeah, I want to be the guy who is leading this race. And you can see the gap to Skitzer, P5, who is really the guy with the freshest tyres right now, is actually extended on this lap. So he's actually struggling to get past, which shows how difficult it is to overtake this game. But you can see going down the straight now, he has moved his way up into P4 in this race. And you can see the next lap he's closed in, so 2.2 seconds now. And all I was thinking about here was just trying to get as best ex exit as I could coming to his home straight. You see, using all the ERS here, so just doing everything I possibly could. Maximising that last sector, not going defensive until I absolutely need to. Because then that would just be slowing me down massively if I did need to do that and you can see he's really really far up behind me so we're actually going to stay aboard for the rest of his app because this is where I felt his tyres were slowly starting to go off so in this first sector he's really really fast but it's in the final sector that's where we were absolutely the strongest and that's probably the most important sector because that's the one where you go on to start finish straight so we really need to make sure we have enough of a gap going onto the pit straight where we don't have to use as much ERS as possible. And you can see Skitzer is now up into P3, so about two seconds behind. And I knew that he was going to catch us, but I was just trying to delay that for as long as I possibly could. And then coming through into here, go to the sector. So it's about three temps behind. We've got to make that gap go up to over half a second going through his last corner. You can see driving really well at this stage. We're getting the gap go up to six tenths of a second. So using a bit of the ERS again and 
I think you could tell his tyres are now slowly but surely starting to go off. And I think he's run out of ERS as well because he's not really gaining that much on the straight either. So you can see he's closed up again, but going for the last sector, this is where we eke out all of that lap time. You see, getting the gap up almost up to six tenths once again. But Skip to his teammate is right behind. Is he going to fight this too hard? No, he does not. So he lets his teammate go. And I knew at this stage of the race, it was going to be very, very difficult to uh, keep Skitzer behind. You can see my tyre wear indicator light has already come on. I'm well over 60% of the tyre wear here. And we're running into that territory where we could be at risk of getting a punch in this race. But you can see from Jitto DV, we still managed to keep away from those hard runners behind. And if we could finish in the top two here after the qualifying we had and really just a lack of confidence I had coming into this race and without FRA Elite racing as well, that actually brings me almost right back into this championship. So this is an absolutely crucial race. You can see the tyre wear is on 67% on that rear left. PSR Sav is quite a way behind. We're going to stay on board for a bit of a sap because you will, will be able to see how quickly Skitzer pulls away because there was absolutely no point defending from him. We're just going to be wasting all of that ERS. But at this stage of the race, I thought if we could hang on without getting a puncture, then P2 is on the cards here and that would feel like a win, especially since the last league races I've had. But PSL Nick is out of the race. And what has that done? Has that brought out the safety car? Yes, it has. It's brought out the full safety car, which in a way helps me because it extends the tyre life even more but it brings everyone much closer together and yeah I don't know if I preferred that or not at all but we're doing a little bit of a dummy here just in case anyone is watching the stream because I do stream all my races so pretending to go into the pits I was hoping he would but yeah I don't think he's going to be that silly to do that so we decided to stay out which is the right decision we would have just lost so much time and yeah, even if we're on softs we wouldn't have been able to cover all of those positions so safety car is coming in this lap so we have two laps here to go see the tyres are over 70% but I still felt I was probably in a much better position than some of the cars behind me especially PSR Sav so I'm running quite high downforce but the problem is I didn't want to put too much wear into the tyres which means my tyre temperatures are also quite low itself and he's not pulling the trigger straight away so he's just really backing me up into the field which is really going to be put me under pressure from his teammate so now he decides to go we actually get a good launch compared to him so get the slipstream from Skitzer and just a bit of a warning if you're wearing headphones please turn it down now because you're about to see that something that happens go through here so going into turn two I've been taken out man I can't be fucking bothered with this game mate they're fucking taken out. <sighs> yep, yeah, and uh, people in this game are so fucking shit at driving, man. <laughs> All that for fucking nothing. All that for nothing. Fucking taken out. Indeed, and we're going to take another look at this. So, yeah, coming into the start of lap 32, it's a bit painful, actually, to look <laughs> watch this back. I can laugh about it now, but coming into here, we're going quite slowly. And coming through into this one, we do not hit that sausage curb, so we do miss it. If you watch the throttle, the throttle doesn't change or anything at all. And coming into here, we get hit from the rear. And yeah, you'll be able to see this message from PSR Sav after the race. Um, he did 100% hit me. I felt the contact on the wheel itself. I know there's some people who are saying that I didn't get the contact or spun or anything like that, or I just spun by myself. I can tell you now that I didn't spin by myself. I didn't hit the bump. I got hit from the rear. And yeah, it's yeah, pretty devastating, to be honest. Because not only just for the championship, it's because I think the championship will be difficult to win anyway. But just the fact that how some of my recent races have been going, I really needed a result like that to finish in the top two. And... Then that happens, and I know that's racing. That's something I've had to deal with for quite a while now. 
And you have some really good periods of racing, but then you have some periods where the momentum isn't in your favor and it goes against you. And um, yeah, I respect PSR self for apologizing after the race, but it's, um, you know, the damage is already done at that point. And you can see at the time, no, still not happy about it now, but yeah, it just feels like everything I do just kind of goes against me at the moment, which is kind of the reason why kind of lost motivation from this game i've been trying put my efforts in but then just haven't been rewarded with it at all and you know, on that occasion no i don't think there's anything i could do there no i'm going slowly because my ties are super super worn and i think he just made a mistake which he said himself and yeah that was it so um i just want to say thank you so much for people who tuned into the streams who watch my races and you know i stream every race i do there's going to be good and there's going to be bad races um, because I stream everything I do. And I think it's important to show the good, but also the bad as well, because that's just how it is. Um, I've been playing these games for a long, long time now, and it's not always a linear improvement. It's a journey with many, many ups and downs. And I've always wanted to show, share my journey with other people. So you know, for people being supportive and positive and even people who are criticizing constructively but i appreciate it and it makes me a better driver it makes me a better person as well and yeah i was just truly truly gutted about that result i just really felt like i deserved a result um, after a while as well but yeah let me know if you think i should complete the next two rounds we've got zanfort next then we've got jeddah for the final race there's two races left do you think I should continue with these races? Because there's only two left. And then after that, I'll probably... I say I've taken a break from league racing, but obviously we'll give it over Christmas, see how you feel for the next season. But yeah, it's um, it was a tough one to take, that's for sure. But I just want to say again, thank you so much for the support on the videos and just for even watching it. Uh, I really, really appreciate it. And yeah, it means a lot. I really hope that you enjoyed the Grand Prix the weekend and I'll be catching you very, very soon. Peace.